so my first question to you is what do you consider art what is art art is i would say a very in a very general way it is uh, a very clear or an unclear articulated idea using a medium that uh, where an where a human being or a human yeah where a human being initiates uh, uh, an idea to broadcast an idea outside uh, which kind of has a larger implication in the world either politically socially uh, culturally so, so with everything that you've said which involves an element of skill yes i am that old school guy who feels like there should be a little skill correct that's my correct so in the description that you gave of art everything that you mentioned and then you said medium right yeah, yeah. so my question to you is when you are considering ceramics as an art form or painting or whatever why can't that medium be clay like for I that i have a hang up i have a hang up yeah i i have i i just don't get it so i just that's my thing you yeah. explain your so it's it's creating art in whether whatever medium that you use it's creation of art it's an expression of one's feelings it's an expression of what they're going through it's an expression of maybe wanting to just went out and the only way the artist can went out sure. is through their work sure. and i choose clay as my medium yes for whatever reason through life clay clay kind of knocked on my door i did not go knocking on clay's door nice. it came it approached me i absolutely fell in love with it and it became my way to express me yes. and through whatever that i'm doing it is an expression of what i am so um i mean i do sculptural work and then i also do mugs and plates and basic tableware yeah. but i consider all of that to be art form because even if i'm making a simple mug it is what i'm feeling at that time that i'm putting into the clay that i'm making i'm molding that piece of clay of basic mud into something that i can use number 1 i enjoy using it because it looks nice it appeals to my artistic sense and i'm creating which is what me as a human being sure. intrinsically i need to do bang on how did you you've 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 been inspired by somebody so um oh, i mean way, i am so you are a with you were with me in college yes. about many 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 years many ago many years That's ago not say when but it was millennium waiting for the night jennifer yeah, lopez yeah it was right? it was yeah. a long time ago it was ago. long time ago in the millennium uh, and we basically uh, uh, we both made a switch we were in science yeah. we were in science yeah and then both of us were the only two people from who we knew were like i'm doing art and she's like i'm doing art and i was yeah. like oh wow that's amazing yeah and uh, people still see us that way and they're like oh you guys took the bus and you're left you know and you're like, i'm so proud of you yeah so was do, do you your so, journey from doing science so i did science and then i did architecture and then i started working as an architect and for me the it felt very limiting i could not express what i wanted to do through architecture and also through the kind of architecture that i was exposed to in pune unfortunately wasn't just what was appealing to me so i went on this quest where i was just trying to find myself and um doing all kinds of things um in the middle and then i happened to go to pondicherry mm. for a pottery workshop happened to go to pondicherry for a pottery so, workshop so i did i dabbled with like a week long pottery thing in pune and it was it felt like oh, okay this is fine in a, in a crafty way i don't th- i wouldn't call it in a crafty way no i wouldn't call it a crafty way yeah. it was again a way for me to express right you know, it was you know saying that is because there are so many workshops correct that 99% of people do it for the craft element correct and then they let it go as a sunday hobby yeah you went on with it it's your career so i i, I went on much later so okay. i did this pottery thing i liked it but it never felt like i'm going to be a potter or this is what i want to do sort of a thing right yeah. and then in the middle of doing all these odd and multiple various part time jobs and things like that um i came across this place in pondicherry called the golden bridge pottery which trains and apprentices people and their long term training programs so i was like Okay I was also at that rebellious age where you want to move away from home go to a small city everything is going to be cheap there break some pots not break some <laughs> pots i was like ah, beer will be cheap in pondicherry we'll go let's see how this is yeah. 
and i went and i started again not knowing that this is something that i want to do like sure. there was absolutely no yeah. calling of that a week into it was when i was like okay man i'm in love absolutely in love with every version of it yeah. right and we so golden bridge poetry is a production unit yeah um and they also train people along the way so you are exposed to all spectrums of pottery okay. from amazingly crafted tableware right up to 27 feet ceramic sculptures built how do you bake them they are made in parts they are assembled we are on scaffolding working with clay i mean so that's the kind of exposure right like yeah, yeah. you think of ceramics as being a pot yeah. and then you see no no i have my definition of ceramics is multivariate i've yeah. seen abstract pieces and i've yeah. seen non utilitarian pieces but i it's it's pretty dense the, the process is so tiring it is and, and it's fantastic it's only a hot process it's a brilliant you, process a, i find it strange that you're not allowed to be in an ac room and work comfortably you have to go it's a it's uh disclaim i have an ac in my studio here in kalyani nagar which the past two years summer time it is coming on but then when you go to the kiln and the new fire stuff it's Yes but again that's the beauty of it that's what like completely it's an addiction it yeah. really is an addiction especially wood firing so i'm trained as a wood firer pondicherry has been all wood firings um so you don't do the cylinder and do that no that's in pune that's that i do pune. the cylinder the gas firing but all the firings in pondicherry wow. are all wood fired um a lot of them are also fired in a specific kind of a kin which is called the anagama kin it's a japanese style kin where the firings go on for um we've tried to cross the 100 hour mark of a continuous firing firing just because you're cool just because we can do it just because of the kind of effects that you get on a pot is not achievable through any, any. other method um you bring out the beauty in clay you are working you're almost an alchemist because you have chemistry that's involved you're understanding how the molecules are working how um quartz inversion happens at what temperature carbon trapping happens like these are the things this is this chemistry that's involved inferiority this, complex alert this physics okay. that's involved with understanding how your kin is working how your flame is moving how fast your temperature is rising yeah. there's physical labor that's involved which is amazing there's yeah. a community because you can't do these firings as a single person you the build up you a team the way you speak about it i feel like i also want to be a part of it i think you should <laughs> that's you why will... i started liking ceramic because of you i mean what i said in the start is that i don't get it i don't yeah. get it as a in a very in a very contemporary art kind of i have to be in that folder if, yeah and then talk about those files but generally speaking i like it i love it i like yeah. your work i like everything but i just i'm not able to fall in love with it the, when i stand naturally when i stand in front of textile or i stand in front yeah. of painting ceramics just is being done by too many hobby artists to be agree the pandemic it, is also responsible to be, to be for a lot as a more practice so i just think, is, that's my yeah but maybe I'm also there's wrong. i mean there is a difference between so we all have in whatever medium you know you have the amateur painters, painters yeah, yeah. and then you have painters who are doing this as a profession who know what they're doing basically it's not sure. like yeah matka happened two See, colors mixed really well matka Mat- i know i said it and then i realized the irony of it what is this matka happen you know matka is the pot no matka happened is the oh, ha, matka, gambling oh, gam- matka is gambling gambling okay, it's that matka i thought matka. you know i'm making a pot like are no gambling. no gambling <laughs> matka <ho gaya. laughs> matka laga is the oh, sorry, gambling concept of bad joke